Paradox. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reform or Die with Majin as Swellendam, the mean team as Taraskan and Jaws127 as UTA. Say hi, guys. Hi, hi guys. guys. Hey. Hey. And I'm getting beat up by Portugal and Spain, so everything is fine. Hey. Listen. Watch out. Do crazy stuff. Oh. Actually, let's uh, go back to zero stability first. Oh, that one's in marriage. Nope. Oh, yeah. I so did not want to get all that autonomy. <laughs> oh, all that autonomy I just picked up killed my naval force limit. Oops. Autonomy is no joke. I've lowered it more than raised it. Ooh, National Bank. Lose five inflation. Gain one stability. And then set my loans for stuff. Nice. Um, eh, we'll keep it at 12. Boom! Free inflation. Free inflation drop. Nice. I want a money spending spree here. That was awesome. Right, we can always if you really want to be cheap, you could gift it to Taraskin and hope he get the gifts it back. <laughs> nah, I've, I've built really? marketplaces. I could use a bunch of buildings, so you know. <laughs> what, give it back? <laughs> well, that that's why I said hope. <laughs> <laughs> give what back? I can what give it back by about? denying it to the AI. It's about all. Oh, my missionary base strength is now 0.1%. I might finish this one missionary spot. <laughs> Alright, so I wonder when they get tired of this war. They're going to siege out five provinces and occasionally beat up my former vassals. I'm not moving at all. Yeah, I'm stuck. September 18th. Okay, yeah. Did we lose Majin? <laughs> I'm starting to suspect that's the case. <laughs> I'm thinking we did. I can't save, I think. I can, I can. <laughs> the, the doubt just keeps going down. Yeah, that, that wasn't very good. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop I'm the recording here. Yeah, yeah I saved too. as well. Oh, blue screen of death. Stupid Microsoft. <laughs> yep, mag got be oh. sodded, so we'll yep. work from here. With a service exception, so something was trying to do something it really shouldn't have. Oh. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Oh, mag I'm now exploring Q -Q. Japan. I've explored Sevilla. Portugal's got a 12 stack and Portu Portuguese Brazil's got a 12 stack. I don't see any Spanish troops though. Yeah, if Spain doesn't have a direct connection to you, they may not land. Apparently that made some difference. All that lowering autonomy and then all legitimacy. Yeah, basically, I'll yeah, have rebels to fight if my ruler dies early, but, well, I can deal with it. <laughs> not fighting anything else, so... Yeah. Okay, my former vassal, who's now my ally, attached to me. Great. Right, yeah, so good maybe channel. reloading helps with that. <laughs> maybe you didn't need to give up your vassals? Yeah, it's, I'll just add, fully annex him. When the war is over, he's uh, he's an OPM. This doesn't really matter. Might make things easier in the long run. Yeah, actually, yeah. Guys, eighty. They're still one twenty. Yes. I want to cancel subsidies. I don't know if that glitch where the permanent subsidies, if you annex somebody, you're giving subsidies is still there, but I'm not gonna. 
I'm gonna risk that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't risk that. random crashes. Well, I just don't, don't want to risk, risk permanent money loss. Permanent money loss would not be fun. Japanese tea cultures. Oh, uh, that's up there that I can build that temple. Very good investment in its current form. I'm gonna burn that colony that um, butts up against my um, territory. Mm. Just seize it when it's almost done. It's uh, just started. Yeah, yeah you never mind. Nope, they, they lost it themselves. It's gone. <laughs> 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 don't have to do effort for it. And we got revolves. Damn it. Okay, one more, and then I will have centralization for that wonderful, wonderful monthly autonomy change. Oh, and this is around 40. Well, June 1553 is the finished date, so you can just check that like this. See. Pretty easy to double annex on speed 3. Strength now? Yeah. Oh, somehow I know about Great Britain already. I know about them already. I don't like this. Did not know about these people already. Know about them. That's probably how you know about them. Yeah. Good hippies. And the religious spread of discoveries is not something I completely understand, but I know some of it goes on. Because I was playing a game with Josh where we were both Indian tech. I was a Juran and he was Noir. Uh, I got everything the Muslim tech could see well ahead of him. <laughs> and I was still Indian tech. Yeah. Fine. I'll invest there. Oh, I can even build them here. Not a great investment, but I'll pay off, and I don't have any other way of investing money that isn't uh, problematic right now, so let's put it into that. Other than sitting on my hands. <laughs> I'll see sitting back waiting for my uh, manpower to go back up. Getting there. Marriageable women. Always useful. Yeah, I like that one as well. Give me free people and manpower. Not just people, manpower. I'm not going to conquer into Asia until I get at least the full, but I might as well explore that out a bit. Either Norway's making no money off a of trade, or the game's just not showing it to me in the countries list. It shows them at four ducats, and it's all from um, what are you about production and tax. Deficit? No deficits Assholes. here, you jerk. Norway has Finland vassal. I'll just build 12. Be over slightly. I don't want accommodations with the natives. I want them to assimilate. Need the pop. You don't. They don't really assimilate. They become my culture and my yeah. population. Kind of like Borg assimilation. <laughs> I oh, know, I just explored the waters of Ivory Coast. I didn't explore the coast of Ivory Coast. So, like, I can tell you're there, but I can't actually see most mm -hmm. of your land. Now I'm busy exploring Asia. 
Yep, that's 547 distance from me, but if I put a colony right here in Kodiak, I will be able to reach. The natives aren't very aggressive up there. No worries. No, actually I could use an Inquisitor. Do I get to explore the coast of uh, Japan here? I'm not seeing that as an option. I'll just explore the water of Chesapeake, that's more interesting. Where's Dagobah? Oh, that one. Okay, that'll be easy. Go get him! Come on, guys, finish your stupid siege. Vincent's one of my best taxable provinces. Entire area. I can see Great Britain from here. Brittany, what do you got? Oh, Brittany's allied with France and Austria. That'll get him killed quick. Westernization is halfway done. Eight more years to go. I'm at 54%. Hold on, let's pause. Oh, QQ is going into internal conflicts. That's nice. Alright, I just want those things. That. That. Oh, okay. <sighs> you go away. Go if you opened religious. Hmm? I can probably um, I can probably block them in Siberia really easily because they opened religious. No. Yeah. How's the war with Portugal going? Well, I'm losing, obviously. <laughs> it's minus twenty war score on that. But um, I'm just walk walking around burning uh, colonies for fun. Well, that's useful. They keep popping down new colonies and I keep going in and burning them. It's kind of fun. Fortunately, not, it doesn't boost war score, but... Whatever. I know, <laughs> but I can't really do anything else. Are you just losing as in you're just going to lose the war? Or are you losing as in this is going to be very damaging? You oh, no. just losing those couple provinces. Yeah, they'll probably take those provinces in the east, that's all. I'm just gonna let the time go go by a little bit. Boy, annexation was demanded. I just realized. Ethiopia peaced out. <laughs> Yemen, so that they can come back, fight a war, bad people. Well, travel feud. Lose stability? What? Yeah, it's an event for all tribal governments now. That's garbage. Fun with that. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah. Oh, you know how much money I have to send to stupid. Yeah, no. Not given Ottomans money. Works. And the 1560. Well, really around 1570. I need to remember that date because I need to. Lower autonomy a bunch, a bunch of my provinces again. No 
don't have to worry about spending points on switching governments until really late. Or if I get a republic from religious ideas, then I can do it. That's another reason I wanted religious over expansion, even though expansion yeah. at first glance would make more sense. The chance of getting uh, forced into a republic by revolutionary rebels is also really appealing. Yeah. Pay them off. I don't know where Ethereum's OP army went. They went the long way around. Oh, that's considered Chesapeake waters. Okay. Now I have the better part of the Atlantic Ocean explored. Okay. I think we're working it. Need to soak somebody in now. I have too many vassals. Well, annex. So, do you have the diplo attack? Oh yeah, you do. Do you have your embassy up already? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't bothered with it yet, but that would be really helpful because then you can double annex and like still do stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> we also need the money first. <laughs> what else? Have to fight Mallory oh, these are finishing this here. I don't want to fight Mallory yet. That poor missionary. Still going. Still trying. Right, can I pause? Oh, I actually yep. did. Uh, peace <laughs> from Portugal. <laughs> yes. Let's see what they want here. Um, Ten percent. Seed Rio Contas, Iras, Ilias, Panaiba, and Vara. Yeah, so they'll take those five. Plus three hundred ducats. Will yeah, they go away? Yeah, that's fine. Then I'll be westernized once this is uh, done, so... Alright. Cool. And then you can just reconquest later. Exactly. Already got the sea beyond. Colonial conquest on UDA. Mm. Oh, good guys. Alright. Okay, monthly autonomy change. Yay! Declare a more. trade war on you in blockade. Okay, only two more to go. Then I can reform! After Blockade I start up work, another I no thousand. I think it still would. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Probably. it would still give me ticking war score. Yeah. yeah, knowing how this game is. You can't build ships, but you sure can lose a war based on them. <laughs> Blockade. At this fun. point, I'm just gonna keep sending out on random exploration missions the first one up because I see what I need to for now. Ghost mm. of Nepal would be helpful too, I guess, but I didn't see that as a mission option yet, so I'll have to do that later. Oh yeah, time to take yeah, freedom not, yeah. again. I'm not pushing a lot of actual searching. Well, I keep getting explore the waters of Safi, even though I explored that constantly already. Weird. We have taken <laughs> out Gondor! I never sent a mission to Safi, but I see it all anyway. I guess because of the uh, Western tech reveal. 
something. Uh, exploring Sevilla. So I like got it in round and such. Okay, this is cute. I've managed to siege a lot of land, and my two vassals are still working on <laughs> their first ones. Seriously, guys, hurry up. Why is this so bad? The autonomy is still pretty high. Alright, so I'm gonna have my happiness with the uh, Conversion no, this or at least reforming sometime soon. Including naval. My explorer died. Can't cancel the mission though. Oh, it auto cancels. Okay. They'll make it home then. And they just keep spamming um, lots and lots of colonies down here. Mm. I really hope somebody can uh, engage them somewhere else. If they colonize into the Caribbean, I'll blow them up, but they're not doing it. <laughs> nope, they're just in my throat. But I don't even have a CB on them yet. And the problem is, I can't. I'll, I have four colonies running, and they're still a lot faster than me. I guess I can just. I did have a CB, but I don't want to hang on to that bit long term. Uh, Spain's going to have almost four or maybe five colonists going at a time at some point. Yeah. They've got, they got three down here right now. Portugal's got three as well. And Portuguese Brazil have... I'm not sure. At least one. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch. So that's seven. Plus they're faster than me. They have plus ninety-five. And I am at plus thirty-five. So yeah. Yeah. That's a losing <laughs> race, so to speak. But if usually if they get engaged in some kind of war somewhere they will stop colonizing for a while. Yeah. Took a mission to convert a province I did ninety some percent. Love those missions. Yep. Marketplace spam. Turn Trinidad into a city. Oh, don't do it! <laughs> hey, colony, man! Be real. I'm on the small side, unfortunately. I want to colonize Alta Gracia. Fine, we'll turn Trinidad into a city. Get another really strong province. St. Vincent's eight tax because of that. Nice. Superpower tax. Oh, yeah, this, this guy, uh. Guy died, I'm gonna replace him. Ooh, this. <laughs> the uh, explorer I got, to, like, battle worthy. Comet sighted. That's what you need when you're westernizing. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you could also use um, advisors resist westernization. That one's really good too. Well, yeah, speaking of which, I do have advisors on. They're pretty expensive, aren't they? Yeah, they're yep. double cost in westernizing. But often still worth it. <laughs> yeah, 3.2. Yeah, 
I think I was running just plus ones, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I've got one plus one on it. I can actually afford that. That's okay. Well, unless I will... Okay, 19... 999. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Great, great. I've reached Panama, by the way, so... You can just come down okay. here and join up. Yeah, I'll probably colonize that in the near future. The AI doesn't prioritize it as heavily as the Caribbean, so I'm going Caribbean first. Mm -hmm. But I'll be there soon. Okay, that's just one uh, province. It's the human <laughs> event. <laughs> nope. Uh, the Netherlands are independent. Hang on a second. The Netherlands! Um, right at the end. Right under the wire. <laughs> Tukuma. I need to find Tukuma. Alright, that's there. Alright, well, that's there. the end of this one. Yep. See you guys See in the next one. Time. See you guys. Bye-bye.